Taco Bell is huge in the U.S. The American Mexican fast food chain is one of America's top five fast food companies by sales. And over the last decade, it's added another 1,300 stores. While it had tremendous success at home, Taco Bell has had a lot of trouble taking off abroad. Taco Bell has over 400 international locations, which is well below that of its rivals. And it's having a whole lot of trouble finding a following in one of the world's fastest growing cities, Dubai. It has the highest concentration of restaurants in the world, and the population generally loves American brands. But Taco Bell called it quits in Dubai after just four years. In 2008, Taco Bell was killing it in the United States. Its profits were higher than ever, and it was Yum! Brand's second most profitable chain in the US, so its parent company Yum! Brands decided to test out the Mexican food chain in Dubai. In November of 2008, Taco Bell opened its first Middle East location in the Dubai Mall. Keep in mind, in Dubai, shopping malls are a major part of the Emirati culture. With temperatures hitting 120 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer, it's not unusual for Emiratis to spend hours trolling the malls. And these aren't your typical malls. Malls in Dubai have indoor ski slopes, shark tanks, and Olympic-sized ice rinks. The Dubai Mall spans over 5.9 million square feet, with over 1,300 stores and more than 200 food and beverage options for locals and tourists. The mall alone contributed 5% of Dubai's GDP in 2015. At the time Taco Bell entered the city, the Dubai Mall was one of the largest shopping malls in the world, so Taco Bell was in a prime location. According to the franchise owner, Taco Bell's initial launch showed promising results for the company. The owner said that the initial success was behind its reason to start expanding to other locations in the UAE in 2009. Taco Bell in Dubai reportedly adjusted its menu to be halal certified so it can adhere to Islamic dietary laws. By 2012, Taco Bell had expanded its footprint to two other of Dubai's mega malls. But Taco Bell's franchise owner, Americana Group, made the call to exit Dubai in early 2012. I think Taco Bell did well in Dubai Mall. They had one location in Dubai Mall that was doing pretty well, and it was a pretty amazing location. Um, but Dubai Mall is quite a touristy mall, and then, and then their other locations didn't quite do so well. Um, and then multiple reasons for that, and I think it's just the, I think the quality wasn't quite what people expected. And then I think the actual owners wanted more than just one successful site. They wanted multiple sites, and I think they just struggled to deliver that. During its time in Dubai, Taco Bell's parent company, Yum! Brands, was the number one fast food company in the UAE. And KFC and Pizza Hut topped the UAE's brand ranking. In Dubai, there were 31 KFC stores and 20 Pizza Hut stores. So why is it that Taco Bell couldn't match the same success of its fellow Yum! Brand companies? First, it's partly to do with local taste buds. Emiratis don't have much of an appetite for Mexican food. During Taco Bell's time in Dubai, out of all of the money the fast food industry made in the UAE, the Latin American inspired food category came in dead last. On average, Latin foods accounted for just 0.14% of all fast food sales in the UAE each year between 2009 and 2013. Meanwhile, the burger category accounted for nearly 30% of retail sales. Secondly, Taco Bell also lacked the international brand recognition of its sister companies. KFC and Pizza Hut already had stores around the world long before Taco Bell's first attempt to expand abroad. KFC launched internationally in 1953 in Canada. And by 1971, KFC was in 48 countries. While Pizza Hut has been a global brand since 1968, and specifically in the UAE since 1979. But Taco Bell, its first ever expansion outside of the US began in 1979. Its global expansion has been slow going and not always successful. It's tried and failed in several countries from Singapore to Mexico. As of 2019, Taco Bell has over 400 international stores, which pales by comparison with its sister companies. KFC has nearly 18,000 stores, and Pizza Hut has nearly 9,000. According to Gulf Business back in 2012, the former Yum! Brand CEO said this about Taco Bell's international troubles. What we do with Pizza Hut and KFC is to bring a unique image to a known quantity. Whereas with Taco Bell, you have a unique brand and an unfamiliar food category. So it's a little bit harder to establish Taco Bell than KFC or Pizza Hut. Another possible factor playing against Taco Bell in Dubai, its physical store layout. Even though Latin American foods rank last in the UAE's fast food sales, Mexican-American sit-down chain Chili's has been in the UAE since 1997 
and it's added at least two stores every year since entering the country. In fact, full-service restaurants like Chili's performed better than fast food outlets during the same time Taco Bell was in Dubai. Full-service restaurants had a 30% hold over the total market. So why did full-service restaurants perform better than fast food chains like Taco Bell? It has a lot to do with culture. Emirati consumers consider going out not merely as a convenience, but as a social event with family and friends. I think Chili's has a quite a wide menu. It's not just, I think they, they have more than just um, the Mexican. It, it caters more for the families in the malls at a different price point, where it's much more about quantity. Local chain Takado is another popular Mexican food option in Dubai. It entered the market the year after Taco Bell left, and it now has 13 locations across Dubai, offering everything from burritos, to tacos, to even breakfast. But Taco Bell hasn't entirely given up in the Middle East. The fast food chain has actually taken off in Kuwait. Its first location opened in 2010, and the Gulf nation has seven Taco Bell locations as of 2019. A part of its success can be attributed to its menu and specialized campaign directed towards locals. Its restaurants there are 100% halal certified. And the company has a campaign directed towards locals called Ako Taco, which translates to, do you have tacos? The campaign capitalized on the hype that Taco Bell created before entering Kuwait. CNBC reached out to both Yum Brand and Americana Group, Taco Bell's franchise partner in the UAE, but neither responded to questions about why they pulled Taco Bell out of Dubai. But Taco Bell did tell CNBC that the company is always looking for possibilities to expand into different Middle Eastern markets with the right partners. As of 2019, there are nearly 6,500 Taco Bells in the US and over 400 stores across 27 countries. And the brand is planning a massive expansion overseas. Taco Bell is promising to step up international growth by reaching 500 units by the end of 2019 and 1,000 units by 2022. Given Taco Bell's success in Kuwait and the Middle East status as a booming market for fast food, it remains to be seen whether Taco Bell will stage a comeback.